survived. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the main stage. We hope you enjoyed the academic breakout sessions. Please stay tuned as we will be announcing the winners of the Apple Watch giveaway in the next hour. If you have just joined us, welcome to Brescia's virtual open house. If you have missed any of our morning's programming, please know that all of our open house activities are being recorded and will be available online next week. I am now joined by Carolyn Temple, Brescia's residence manager. Carolyn will be sharing an overview of residence. After that, I will take you on a quick tour of my own residence room, and then we will end things off with a brief question and answer. If you have any questions throughout the residence overview and tour, please share them in the chat. We will be happy to an answer any questions during the Q&A at the end. Please join me in welcom welcoming Brescia's residence manager, Carolyn. Thanks, Sophie. That was the nicest introduction I've ever had. Thank you. Um, so Clare Hall was built in 2013, so it's about eight years old. We still call it the new building because it's still new to us and we're excited to welcome new students in February, or sorry, in September. Um, we have uh, three styles of residence rooms um, in Clare Hall. Um, we have the single room with shared ensuite. That is our most popular room. We have about 95% of those. And then we have our private rooms and those rooms are um, dedicated for students that have medical documentation. And then we have our premium king rooms and they are rooms that have a king bed and a private washroom. And those are not accessible rooms, so they are not um, set aside for anyone with a medical need. We don't have many of those, so we do, um, if you apply for those, um, I wait until the end of um, June um, to see who has applied and paid their deposit, and we do a lottery system with those rooms. In Clare Hall, we also have three different um, house styles, and these are just sort of different things that happen on each floor. So um, in each year house is reserved for first year students who would like a more quieter environment. Um, an ECO house has um, quiet hours that start at 11 o'clock every night, and no male guests are permitted to sleep over. Um, our next house is Brescia House, and that is reserved for um, upper year students or first year students as well. Um, quiet hours start um, at 11 o'clock from Sunday to Thursday, and then 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. Male guests are permitted to stay um, on this floor. And then our last floor is called Esperto House, and this one is reserved for our upper year students. So if you're looking to continue your stay um, in Clare Hall for your three, four year degree. Um, you are welcome to stay on a Sperto house. Um, the rules are a little bit more relaxed. Um, male guests are permitted to stay and quiet hours um, are a little bit different on that floor as well. So I'm gonna turn it over to Sophie to give you a quick tour of her cute little room. Um, and then we'll be here if there's any questions. Perfect. Thanks, Carolyn. I'm going to pick up my laptop and we're going to start the residence room tour. So, as you can see, this is my view from my front um, or my door, I guess. I have plenty of space and as well, I have my own personal, um, sorry, my own, there we go, personal sink um, right here, which is very nice. And then I have a completely blank wall over here, which I was able to personalize to my own liking. Um, tons of room for storage. Something very unique about um, Claire Hall is that there is a custom storage um, unit in each dorm room. So there's plenty of floor to ceiling closets, which are great for um, keeping all of your things secured. Right this way, I have my desk area, which is where I spend a lot of the days currently studying. Um, tons of space. Um, each desk has a, I'm not sure if you can see, but a light, which is really handy. Tons of space, again, um, printer, calendar, as well as tons of desk space, which is nice. Up here is a little bit of a spot where I've added some personal touches, just with some photos and plants and some sort of memories of home. And then over this way, I have a um, nice huge window, which as you can see, lets in a ton of natural light. 
especially on sunny um, spring days like today. Each room comes, I'm not sure if you can see, but with a um, nightstand slash shelf, which comes in each room, which is super handy. Um, and then a big selling feature is the queen size bed that each um, room comes with if you have a standard room. Um, again, just able to add some tons of artwork and personal touches throughout. And yeah, that, so that's kind of um, the room. I can kind of show you the bathroom. Um, I have a shared bathroom with my roommate. Um, I think that's the light, yeah. So there's the shared bathroom and the other door on the other side. And um, I think that is um, pretty much it. Sophie, I just wanted to mention that the residence applications have been updated and they are online, as well as the fees for the 2021-2022. Um, they've been approved um, by our board and are on the website um, as well. So when you're applying for this year, you'll know um, what the cost of each room are, including the mail plan. Perfect. Thanks, Carolyn. So I'll come back. Um, so I think with that, we are able to sort of open the floor to any questions um, that anyone might have regarding residents, um, residents life, uh, um, leadership opportunities, all those sorts of things. While we're waiting for the questions to come in, um, the front desk is open 24 seven. It is staffed by um, a professional staff um, all day, all night. So if a student has any questions or concerns, um, there is a professional staff that is available um, to all students. We also have security that's on site um, in the evening and over the weekend too. So just that added sense of security for our students. Um, you need a key to enter the building currently. Um, and the front desk sort of monitors who's coming and going to make sure that our students um, are kept safe. Um, there's a question from Brianna. Can other female residents visit each other's rooms? Yes, of course. Um, when you get a key, um, your key will open your own room and then it will open each floor uh, throughout the building. Um, oh, I do you want to show them your fridge, Sophie? Oh, can sure. You? I didn't clean that area though. So. <laughs> Just show okay. what it is. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so um, we have a, each room has a personalized uh, mini fridge that comes standard in each room, which is super handy, um, just in case you want to have like any of your own sort of drinks or yogurt or snacks, anything like that, which is really nice. Um, our floor lounges also have a full size fridge and freezer. I know lots of people like to keep ice cream and lots of treats in the freezer. So that's a good place to do that. Um, but just having the mini fridge is super convenient, not having to um, get up and sort of keep all your stuff stored um, in your own room, which is super nice. Um, question from Hannah. What things do you recommend in bringing other than the essentials? You don't need a lot, in my opinion. You need your clothes, your books, computer, printer, and then some decorating items that you want to make your room yours. Um, there's a lot of things that we try to supply. So the fridge... Um, you've got your own desk lamp in the lounge. There's um, a coffee maker, a Keurig, a hot water dispenser. So we don't allow any um, sort of cooking appliances in your room, but it's really just to walk down the hall. So there's nothing really other than your essentials that I think you would need to bring. Um, queen size bedding. So um, you get to pick, you know, your favorite sheets and duvet cover, um, but anything that you kind of just want to use to make your room um, your own. Mm. Um, yes there are blinds yeah I can show you that again <laughs> um, I like to keep mine up during the day just because it's so bright and sunny um, but yeah so each room does I'm not sure if you can I can't really see I'm um, up there you can see there's blinds um, each room does come with a um, custom blind cover it's actually a blackout blind cover which is awesome just um, for the sun sometimes that can um, wake you up a little bit early if you're not that um, morning person but um, yeah so there is a blackout blind which is really nice so window coverings are not um, necessary to bring all right Colby has a question about their refund policy if resident on residence fees if classes um, do go online so this year um, any student that was needing to move out due to any reason related to COVID-19 um, they were given a prorated refund on their residence fees and their meal plan. 
And Mackenzie is asking, are there kitchenettes available for students to make food or simple meals in the microwave? And are you able to make coffee? So yes, in our lounge, there is a microwave, an oven, a hot water, a hot water dispenser, and toaster. A toaster, thank you. You're welcome. Um, and a fridge and freezer. Yes, there is oh, also, yes. oh, sorry. There's just not a stove top. Right. So anything that you would need to make would either have to be made in the microwave or in the oven. Um, fire safety, Western Fire won't let us have the stove top. So there is um, stuff that you're able to cook with. Yeah. Um, meal plan is, so Isabella is asking if the meal plan is mandatory. So yes, the meal plan is um, mandatory. Our kitchens aren't equipped to um, feed 300 students. So, and especially with no stovetop. So um, the meal plan are mandatory. There is um, great food in the Mercado that I don't think you would wanna cook yourself. <laughs> um, when I'm on campus, I'm excited to eat there. So I know our students, um, our food service staff really cater to the needs of our students. So if there's something that you really want, um, Tim will put it on the menu for you. So, yeah. Sophie, what's your experience with the Mercado? The Mercado is awesome. Um, as a um, student athlete myself, um, down at Western's main campus, um, sometimes practices and game schedules can be a little bit tricky in terms of meal times. Um, the Mercado staff is always available to assist in terms of um, the meal times, specific foods that you might be wanting to eat. Um, super accommodating and super ready to help out all students, which in my own experience has just been fantastic and outstanding. And I am so appreciative of all of the Mercado staff and all they do for their students as well. And as super them. accommodating with, you know, food preferences, um, allergies, gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian. There's always choices um, for any type of food preference um, that you're looking at. All Most of our meat is all halal. Um, they use halal chicken at the grill. So very accommodating for um, any needs that you might have. Um, Gion is asking, um, is there different restrictions due to COVID, such as visiting friends in other dorm rooms or bringing people from outside of the school? So currently, Claire Hall is under a no guest policy. Um, we've been following um, the advice from the Mon London Middlesex Health Unit very closely. Um, I'm in contact with them weekly to see if there's anything we should be changing up or can add. So right now, um, with us being in orange, Guests are not permitted, so the doors are locked and the only students that have a key are permitted into Clare Hall currently. Um, at the beginning of September, we did have a limit on how many guests were in the building at a time, um, but then that quickly changed as um, the COVID cases started to rise. So yes, you can visit other friends' rooms. That's so totally sort of your choice and what you feel comfortable with. Um, you do kind of become a bubble with your floor or at least your bathroom mate. So yeah, we let you visit as you feel um, needed. Um, I see one final question um, from Beatrice. So roommates are chosen. Um, I believe um, it is um, you're paired with someone who has sort of similar um, schedules, preferences, noise levels, all those sorts of things as yourself. Um, the only residence manager that still does room assignment by hand. I literally read everything that you write on your um, sort of residence application. So I look at your likes, your dislikes, what time you go to bed, what classes you're in, um, and pair you as best as I can with the matches um, that I can find for you. Yeah. Um, my current roommate, as an upper year student, you have the option to request a roommate, although it's not automatically um, given. Um, and my roommate is actually another varsity athlete just on the basketball team. So we are roommates and it works out really well just for both of our schedules, just for really good friends. So, um, and I actually met her last year on my floor through residence. So residence is a great way to meet um, friends who maybe you normally wouldn't have that opportunity to meet. Um, so that was a great um, opportunity. If you are a first year student and you and your friend are coming to Brescia together, you can request to live together. Um, on your residence application though, you both have to request each other for me to match you together. Um, question from Grace, are parents permitted in the building during the move-in process? So yes, this year they were. 
Um, we allowed um, up to two helpers to come in. Um, everyone that came into the building had to be screened for COVID-19. Um, so moving took a little bit longer just with all the paperwork that had to be complete. Um, we did stretch move out over to two days um, just to accommodate um, social distancing and the amount of people that were in the building at one time. Um, but yes, um, two helpers were permitted and I would assume that probably by September it would be the same. Do you think you could show more of the bathroom? Um, sure, I can do that. Um, Um, so it's a Jack and Jill um, styled bathroom. So this is our um, shower area. We have our um, toilet over here and then my roommate um, and her door and entrance to the bathroom is on the other side. And then I guess that's what um, my door would look like from the bathroom. Glassed in shower area. I don't, it's hard to see on the camera, but it is a glassed in shower area. Whoa. Then, oh, there we go. That's there you go. There. And the toilet's in there. And then you Whoa. each have your own sink. And then, yeah. So that's super nice is just having your own sink. It's something um, that's nice. And then you can have that shared bathroom, which is works out really great. So, yeah. All right. We're going to do a last call for questions because we only have a couple minutes left. I see. Um, do we need to clean our own room and our bathroom? Hmm. I don't see that question, but go ahead. Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, um, our, you do. our custodial staff um, are um, in charge of cleaning any common areas, so the halls, the public washrooms, and the lounge kitchen area. But the students are responsible for cleaning their own room and the bathroom. We do have some supplies um, to help you out. We have a vacuum that you can sign out. Um, there's a Swiffer and a broom in the lounge. So the supplies are there um, if you need them. Yeah. Sophie, do you see any more questions? Because I don't. I do not. Um, I think Perfect. we got them all. So that's awesome. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Sophie. You're welcome. Um, so I would just like, and on behalf of Carolyn, to thank everyone um, for their questions in terms of residence. Next, we will take another short break. And after the break, Jasmine from Brescia's admissions and recruitment team will join the main stage to discuss preparing for first year and your next steps as a Brescia student. See you soon.